Thank you. Seeing that it's already after 7 o'clock, we rise and face the flag and join you in the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Linda, would you call the roll, please? Roy? Here. David? Here. Stephen? Jim? Here. Kevin? Here. Thank you. First item of business is approval of the minutes from our meeting of June 17th, 2014. Did anybody notice any corrections or additions that need to be made? Jim didn't get a copy. It looks like we didn't get copies. Because I didn't get one either. All right. So we're going to postpone approval of the minutes until everybody gets it copy and we'll do that next month. Yep. All right. Next would be Mr. Miller. Petitioner is requesting to construct an oversized garage consisting of 960 square feet and to reduce the side yard setback to 2.8 feet. Maximum size in an R2 district is 720 square feet with a side yard setback requirement of 5 feet. And Mr. Miller is right there. Thank you. Um, can I? Sure. Okay. Um, there were two aspects that I was asking for permission to do slightly larger so that I could put three cars in the garage versus two. And, um, and a side yard setback uh, of slightly less than what's been in the past. Um, is, and that's number one. Number two, um, this is basically a replacement a garage that used to exist on the property some long time ago. And if you look at the, the first, if you look at the top picture here, it shows the Broadway Street out here, mm -hmm. and this is the alley. And this is the property, it's about 40 feet wide and 160 feet long. And there is an existing slab out in the corner here where there used to be a garage some long time ago. And what I would like to do is I would like to put it a, a nicely built, a professionally installed metal garage from one of the, like you know, Anderson building or something like that. And you can see that in the bottom half of the picture. And the garage is, and this is, this is the scale, it goes like the paint, which means it's, it's relative scale, correct. <laughs> um, and the little arrows inside are just scale approximately a, 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 four, a 17 foot long car by seven feet wide. Little round circles represent lawn equipment, whatever else is stored in there. Um, so, and the, the, there, there should be, I hope that there's no issue as far as the oversize is concerned because what it does is it, it puts the, the end of the garage 10 feet closer to the house than otherwise. But but there's still, um, let me up and down, there's still almost 40 feet between the back of the house and the front of the garage. This is all on an open space. And instead of putting the, the garage way, the right back on the alley like the original one was, I don't want to do that. I I'm was I'm going to set it back on the alley 20 feet so that I could have a right turn, radius turn, turn into there. And I could set a car out there temporarily uh, if I just want to uh, temporary parking. Right now, right now, there's no, other than the basement or the attic of the house, there's no storage on the property, no place to put a lawnmower or anything that's covered, and no covered and no parking of any kind. The only parking is directly on Broadway Street. Um, so this would really improve the value of the property and the surrounding properties by giving off-street parking and a nice place to put things and store things. Um, you can see the picture I included with most of these. That's, that's the existing main garage. This is, in the corner here is the uh, uh, the uh, this is the slab just back there where you can see it kind of behind this little cherry tree. Um, and so the, the garage itself, would, and this is the, basically the north line of the property, right behind me here. I'm looking south and east at this point in time. The roadway's behind me, the alley's over there. And the garage would come somewhere out from about that front area where that existing slab is 
to about 10 feet short of this little cherry tree. Um, because of the angle of this picture, it looks really foreshortened. So you say, how do you do the garage in that space? It's really there. You can see it on the flat. So that's the, that's the uh, purpose of my request. And I hope that uh, will not, um, I hope it will be acceptable and I'm not out of bounds. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any questions of Mr. Miller by other board members? For the side setback, it's like one foot, one foot short of the requirement. Mm -hmm. Five is the requirement. Five is for not two and a half. Five. Five. The existing garage, the existing old foundation for the garage is there now, about that far out of the ground, and so it does not impact the north neighbor uh, in as much as directly on his side of the line over there is a, an open parking area. And he's driven around for years around this existing foundation there, so that's not an issue. Also, so that it doesn't impact him negatively. I've talked to him about it, he has no problem or issue with it. Uh, I invited him to come to that. He said he might, but he's not here. Um, the other aspect of that, the reason for that is that being the property is fairly narrow. If I go to the full five foot setback, that means that on the, on the south side, Right now, if I, right now on the south side of the, of the garage, there would be like a 14 foot open grass area. So we need to get a maintenance truck or a, some kind of a vehicle in the, in, the, in the backyard area for maintenance or whatever might happen to be, have to be done. And there would be access into the, into the yard in the back of the house. If we push the garage farther south, then that, there's a big tree here in the corner without cutting down that big tree, there would be no room for a truck or maintenance vehicle to get in there. And that's, the, that's the real reason for the request on the side yard, so we can get a vehicle in there if necessary. It's really five feet, not two and a half. So versus the normal two five. But it's normally five. five feet. Feet. Yeah. And you're asking you want two point eight versus the. Yeah, I'm, I'm carrying those exactly, uh, and it's about half of what it should be. Uh, and but what I'm asking to do is put it right exactly in the same place that the existing foundation is, so there would be really no change in the in the geography of the, of the area. Questions from board members? Anybody in the audience? Scott, do you have anything to say about this? <clears throat> yeah, Scott Chastain, Fire Chief, City of Greensburg. Uh, as I spelled out in my email to you, I had no idea what we were building. All I knew was his requests. Uh, in our ordinances, we have a maximum amount of square footage allowed to be built, and we also have our setbacks from either side. It currently would not impact the person to the north, but what happens when that person sells and someone else wants to build something different? So again, we put side setbacks, rear setbacks, front setbacks, we put all these in, into play in anticipation of these, and we need to be very careful if we go and start uh, giving variances uh, for this type of stuff, because we don't know what kind of impact this is gonna have in the future. Anybody else in the audience to speak, speak on this issue? I notified all the neighbors and I did not receive any phone calls or any issues. Right. Go ahead. Scott, do you have concerns of access back there? Well, He's again, I only foot in off the alley. Again, I had not, I hadn't seen any of this. Actually, I, I believe Jim, you had expressed that we get something to show what the project was yeah, uh, you know what i was looking at was you know if we just had to try to get a fire truck into the alley 
that could be difficult. The closest fire protection water are on the actual streets being Franklin Street or Broadway Street. We're adding in an oversized building for what we allow, which in turn then requires additional fire protection water, could make it more difficult to extinguish. Uh, again, to the south, which evidently there's um, quite a bit of distance from, there's, a, there's an existing older garage that's right on the property line. Uh, I think I kind of spelled that out in my email that I was concerned. Now we're putting buildings right up on top of each other. That's the, the, sir, if I may, that's the 14 foot. Right. right. See, I didn't buildings. know that whenever before. Right. 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 Um, and again, now if we allow him to go to aid off of the north property line, we've just tied these people's hands if they ever want to de develop something. Again, we have these in place. We need to tread very softly in giving variances on them um, because we put them in place for a reason. So. Thank you. Anything else from the audience? Anything else from board members? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve this. It would be actually two, we would be granting two variances. I can do that in one can motion, I, can't I, Chris? Can yep. I move to approve the size but not the setback? Can do that too. We do that too, but we need to remember we need to issue on the setback because otherwise it just comes, you've got to have a decision. To approve the size and deny the setback? Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. yeah. The, the setback is to move. You're talking the side setback. The side, on the north side. Line. The, side. Okay. the other setback is the, I don't I want to put it 20 feet off of the alley. That has more room in the alley for things to go up. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Okay. okay. Whereas the size to me is going into your yard. Mm -hmm. right. So we can even get a fire truck in there if we need to. So what's your motion? To approve size and deny. So your, your motion is to approve the variance as to the oversized building, which is deny the variance as to the size of setbacks. Right. Right. Motion's been made to approve the size and deny the side setback. Do I have a second for that? Second. Motion's been made and seconded to approve the size and deny the side setback. Linda, would you call the roll, please? Roy. Yes. David? Yes. Jim? Yes. Kevin? Yes. We've approved the size, but you got to keep the setback. First. Okay. All right. Thank you all very much. All right. Thank you. As that was our only item tonight, is there any other items that someone would like to bring to our attention? If not, I would entertain a motion we adjourn. I've already had two items filed for next month. So. Okay, so we'll be here next month for sure. All right, so we'll remember the minutes, try and get a copy to everybody, and if nothing else, I'll entertain a motion we adjourn. We're done.